Italy commemorated its first National Day of Remembrance for victims of COVID-19 as its death toll surpassed 100,000 since the outbreak. Now, meanwhile, in the U.S., air travel figures are hitting record highs and theaters are preparing to fully reopen. Our Chen Minjong has more details. Italy on Thursday mourned the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic that has killed more than 100,000 people in 13 months. Thursday marks the one-year anniversary of the most devastating moment of the pandemic as army trucks lined up in the city of Bergamo to transport dozens of coffins. Italy's prime minister visited the northern city to lead the tribute, along with mayor of Bergamo. This is a day full of sadness but also full of hope, and I want everyone to feel me close by through this sadness and hope. We had dreamed that this day would mark the end of the long and painful road of the pandemic, but we are still not there yet. We are nearly there, but we are still not completely there. In memory of the victims, national authorities inaugurated a remembrance forest, soon to be planted with hundreds of trees, as a memorial to the deceased. Meanwhile, over in the United States, air travel numbers are hitting record highs and businesses are reopening despite COVID-19 risks. According to the U.S. Transportation Security Administration, the country last week saw the biggest number of air travelers since the outbreak of the pandemic. Over 8.7 million people flew over the past seven days, with more than 1 million people screened each day. American Multicinema is also planning to open 98 percent of its theaters by Friday, with more opened by next week. The move comes a year after it shut down its theaters across the entire country due to the COVID-19 outbreak. In Japan, the government on Sunday is set to lift the state of emergency in the capital region. Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga said Wednesday that the decision comes following eased pressure on hospital beds. However, restaurants and bars will have to close earlier than 9 p.m. and large gatherings will be restricted even after the restrictions are relaxed. Choi Min-dong, Arirang News.